Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how we can create a ground explosion effect using the Unity particle system. So let's get started. So we'll start by creating a new particle system. Rename it to ground explosion underscore VFX. Reset its transform and uncheck renderer shape and emission. Now create a new effect and rename it to beam set the y position to 0.01 set the max particle size to 3 and render after that set the color to orange something like this okay after that set the light time to 1.5 and size to 10 Uncheck shape and set the emission to a burst of 2. Now set the speed to 0. And uh, inside renderer select horizontal billboard. Okay. Now uncheck looping. And uh, now we have to duplicate this beam and rename it to glow. First of all, Go back to renderer and change it back to billboard. Now change its Y position, something like this. Emission to a burst of 1 and lifetime to 0 0.8. Okay. Now duplicate glow and rename it to spikes and set the y rotation to minus 90 and start lifetime to random between two constants 0 0.8 and 1 speed to random between two constants 2 and 3 size to random between two constants 0.1 and 3 emission to a burst of 15 then go to color over sorry color over lifetime and do something like this then select size over lifetime and do something like this okay after that Inside render, set the render to stretched billboard. Set the speed scale to 1 and length scale will stay to 2. Inside simulation speed, set the value to 2 and uh, restart it. Okay. Here, check shape and select hemisphere. Set the radius to 0 0.5 and restart it. Currently our hemisphere is in the air, so put it back to zero. Now change the color to white. We have to increase the opacity. Change the size to 0 0.3. This is our 0 0.4. This looks good. Maybe change it to one or two and let's see how it looks. No, it doesn't look good. Put it back. Okay. The next thing that we have to do is duplicate the glow and rename it to fire underscore or nothing just fire and set the lifetime to random between two constants and the value will be 1.5 and 2. Speed will be random between two constants and the values will be 0 0.25 and 0 0.5. Then size will also be random between two constants and the values will be 2 and 3. Then simulation speed will be 2. And uh, inside emission set burst to 10. Set the shape to a hemisphere. And also rotate it to minus 90 degrees. 
now put it back to zero after that set the radius to 2 inside color over lifetime we have to do something like this okay after that we have to create a new material and rename it to fire underscore mat legacy shaders particles additive and I have some textures here let me drag them to unity I've also imported this crown 3 object we'll use them later on but for now I have to drop this fire sheet into this material and drop this sheet onto the effect change the color back to white because it has it its own color okay now select texture sheet as it has four rows and four columns so it will be four by four next is size over lifetime so we will use a curve like this okay now restart it and this is something like this let's decrease the radius to see how it looks i think i should increase the size to two and five and see how it looks set the size to one and ten and it looks much better now set the start rotation to render between two constants zero and 360 and now it's looking much more natural okay after that what i have to do is i have to duplicate this fire effect as i have this another smoke effect and duplicate this material and rename it to smoke underscore mat and set the shader to legacy shaders particles alpha blender and drag and drop this smoke effect now drop it onto this rename it to smoke and as we have already the texture sheet selected four by four but it has three rows and three columns so we will change it to three cross three and rename it to this and replay to see this now we have to darken its color a little bit as it's looking too white for now okay set the lifetime to four and uh, three speed to 0 0.3 and uh, 0 0.25 size to 3 and 2 and color would be I think it would be better if we make it brown brown smoke looks much better okay after that now here inside a mission set a burst of 50 I think this brown is a bit too dark bring it here yeah it looks better and uh, now we have to duplicate the glow again and rename it to rocks okay Set the lifetime to random between two constants and the values will be 2 and 3. Speed will be random between two constants. And the values will be uh, 4 and 7. Size will be random between two constants. 1 and 0 0.5. Gravity will be 0 0.8. Change the color to a bit of black, blackish brown. Okay, change the color to something like blackish brown. Now, inside ground explosion, we have a default material. We have rename it to stone mat and drag and drop it into the rocks. Okay, and uh, try to change its color to blackish brown from here as well. Now play the effect to see. 
okay you cannot see them right now because we have some more ch changes to make so inside render select the render mode to mesh and we have a stone or rock here uh, you can find it on google on any free 3d mesh site or wherever you like or you can create them yourself if you know how to do 3d modeling it's pretty easy okay so i have dropped it here next what i have to do is inside emission set the emission count to 20 and set the shape to cone it's cone rotate it on 90 degrees or minus 90 degrees move it below on y-axis after that uh, check color over lifetime and do this rotation by speed check this one after check collision planes to world dampen will be one bounce will be 0 0.1 and radius scale will be 0 0.1 now restart this okay okay currently our stones are pretty small so let's increase the size make it three and five or maybe we can do it ten and five for big stones yeah i don't like the color and the radius scale is a bit too big let's change it to 0 0.05 now they're fitting that properly and they're too slow so let's change the simulation speed to 2 and that's it that looks good now now what we have to do is we have to duplicate the glow and rename it to sparks okay now what we have to do is set the start lifetime to random between two constants the value will be 2 and 4 speed will be random between two constants and uh, it will be 7 and 10 and size will also random between two constants and it will be 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 inside emissions at a burst of 50 and uh, change the shape to cone and rotate it on minus 90 degrees drag it down on y-axis after that inside angle change the angle to 20 degrees radius to 0 0.1 and color over lifetime will be something like this and check collision world Dampen will be 1 and bounce will be 0 0.1. Okay, and the render will be billboard because we are using a default particle system. Okay, so they're moving very fast as we don't want them to move in such a way. So let's reduce the speed to 2 and 3. It's still so slow. Let's change the lifetime. The 
let's change the simulation speed to 2 they also need gravity so let's change the gravity to 0 0.8 increase the speed to 7 and that's it now inside the game view let's check how it looks so we can't see our spark as for now let's increase their size first of all increase their speed to 7 and 10 yes you can you can see them here but they're too small so let's increase their size and the size will be first of all change their color to a bit of orangish white okay great now increase the size to 0 0.5 and 0 0.2 yeah they look good now so that's it that's how we create our explosion vfx using the unity particle system i hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos we will see you in a new video Goodbye.